Hello, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I do a lot of makeup and I'm also a cruelty-free YouTuber. And today is the first day of my lethal week. I don't know how many videos will come this week. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just going to try to like go with the flow this year so it might come up five videos, it might come up three videos, four, I don't know. But today I'm starting off and I have a lot of lethal shades and I have done like this. I put all the I took all the shades that I bought as singles and put them in an empty C palette. So the first two rows are shimmers and the rest are mattes. And I just put them in here, I tried to go like a little bit from light to dark, but I wasn't that... <laughs> I didn't care that much. So I'm mainly going to use these, but I also have two of their pre-made palettes. I got After Dark and uh, the Velvet Dusk. So if I feel like I'm missing a shade, I'm going to take shades from one of these and this is how this look. But I mostly wanted to play with my single shades, even though you can buy these as singles as well. But yeah, and I am going to do some palette bingos this week. Maybe just one. We will see. And <laughs> I think we just get started. And for today, I'm just going to do whatever I want. So I also have a little empty palette here that I'm going to put the shades I'm going to use because this is annoying um, to hold this one. And yeah, I think we just get started. And today I actually got like, I want to do something purple and pink. So I'm going to pick out the palettes from this one that I want to use. And I'm also going to take a shade from the After Dark. And I am of course going to show you all the shades that I've chosen. So today for this look I want to use these. So this is, you can see a little bit closer, and excuse my shitty nails. I got Arsenic, Crossroads, Sequence, Descent, and Insomnia. So I'm going to do a look with this and I think we just hop into this. And I hope that you will like this. So I'm going to start with Crossroads, I think it is, this light pink. And I'm going to take it in my inner crease and then I'm going to take sequence on the rest of my crease. And should I talk a little bit about Lethal? They have been like, since the first time Lethal hit my eyelids. I have been loving this brand and uh, I think they do amazing shadows and this is actually like the first brand that I really enjoyed buying single shadows from. I am not a single shadows person and then you might ask what is this then? But like these are the only singles that, not the only but some of the few that I really love and I I don't know why I don't like single shadows but I just don't know. But the thing I love with Lethal is that you can build your own palette on their site and I think if they didn't have that I don't think I would have ended up with these many lethal, lethal shades. So yeah, I... I think they do really amazing shades and this always looks a little bit funky. So, and then I go in with this one and rest on my crease. And they also do like amazing face products like blushes and highlighters and they do good lipsticks. I think I actually like their bullet lipsticks more than their liquid lipsticks and that is not normal for me to do but the liquid lipsticks are good as well i think i will use one today but they their bullet lipsticks are really really good and 
And it wasn't that long time ago since I did a purple and pink look with lethal shades. And I might have used quite the same shadows. And I am going to do like these shadows are going to not put back with the others because I don't want to like, if I'm doing maybe two palpingos, I don't want to end up with using the same shades all the time. I don't think it will be like that, but I will just take them out when I've used them. Maybe not this, the lightest one, because I might want to use this as an inner corner highlight in one of the other looks, but the other ones, they're leaving this palette. Then on my lid today, I think I actually only will take this one and <laughs> deepen it down with this one. I will see how that goes. And I think this was the scent. And then this was Insomniac. Insomniac? Insomnia. So I will start with this like on my whole lid. And it's that boring. Maybe a little bit. But like pink and purple eyeshadows I have always said that they are not my favorite but you know what I think I like have to just accept that it might be like that that I like all colors on eyeshadows these days first like green was the first shade that convinced me and then, okay, first this was orange, but I have like, ever since I started with makeup, I really liked orange eyeshadow. But then it was green. And then it might actually be blue that convinced me a little bit. And now I think pink and purple is, is coming for me, so to speak. And yeah, I want to deepen down my outer corner with this one because I want some, I want something to happen on the lid. Even though I like this shimmer shade, even though I wanted to do like a little bit of a lighter look, it feels like I've done a lot of darker looks. I'm just going in with this pink one in my inner corner again. And something that is driving me a little bit crazy right now. I, if you have been here before, I've talked about that I have like a dry patch uh, on this eye, and I was a little bit lazy with my eye cream for two days, and the dry patch is in full blown dryness. <laughs> I'm so sick. Of it. It's not like even taking a long time to put on an eye cream, but I was like, I want to go to bed. I don't want to put on eye cream. Jesus, why do I never learn? So I'm going in with this dark shade now to try to deepen down the outer corner a little bit. Ooh, this lid on top, I think it would have been better if I had gone in with this first. It's a little bit late to think about that right now, so. I just have to deal with it. But this. This dark blue was amazing <laughs> on the shimmer. And I hope that you will think it's fun that I'm using more lethal. I asked you and uh, you seem to want a lethal week and yeah. That makes me really happy because Lethal is definitely one of my favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows. Okay, do you know what? I really like this. Put this dark blue on top of this one. Now we will see with the dry little eye. And I don't know what I was like thinking because it's it's cold in Sweden now. Here where I live, I live in the south of Sweden. And uh, it's not that cold, but it's like 
below zero in Celsius and uh, yeah, I don't know I'm thinking because my skin when it's minus degrees or around zero my skin is just like don't want to be here anymore it's so dry okay it wasn't as good on this dry patch and i will promise to you that i will use my eye cream so for the rest of the week we hopefully will not have to deal with this but yeah okay i i really like this so i will put on my base and my eyebrows and then i think i'm going to use these two on my lower lash and use this as a really big unicorn highlight so i will be back so for my little under eyes i'm going to use these two as i said and this is my and this is my inner corner and this in my inner corner so i'm going to start with the pink and take it like on the inner lower lash so i'm going to take it in my inner corner and then down on my lower lash and then i'm going in with this one on the rest and i think i will deepen down with this one just in my outer corner to make my lid connected with my lower lash and then i take the darker shade So okay, for my inner corner, I will go in with arsenic and I will maybe spray it. Haven't sprayed the shadow for so long, but I think I might will actually. And now I'm going in with Insomniac in my waterline. So I'm going to put on mascara and try to use a lip from Lethal and then I come back with my first look for this week. So this is Twinch look for my lips. I first took the portrait from Lethal and then I took a lip gloss from Kaleidos in Fantasize and it's not often I use a lip gloss. But I wanted to do it. So I I really like this look. I think it's pretty similar to a good ready with me. I did using some of these shades from Lethal, but I just looked at the singles and I was like, okay, I want to do something a little bit lighter, a little bit pink and purple. And this what this is what came out of it. So I will leave which shades I have used down in the description and I hope that you really want to see me play more with my lethal shades. I think the next video is going to be a palette bingo. It's just like when I look at this it really seems like green and blue is my favorite eyeshadow colors. How did that happen? But yeah, um, I hope that you are looking forward to this because I am. It's going to be so fun to play more with my little shades. I really love them, but it's not like that often that I use them. So yeah, I think this is a good way for me to do it. So yeah, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!